Hey Outdoor Junkies, welcome back to another video. Thanks for joining us. Yes, today we are going to talk about rappel backups. But, I'm not going to get into all the different kinds and types out there. Uh, you got auto blocks and prusiks and hollow blocks and all sorts of things that you can get that way. Uh, what I'm going to talk about today is the VT Prusik and why it's my favorite to use. So I'm going to jump right in here and rig up my rappel device. Lock it off. I always take an extra horn on the left side and I'm going to rig into my critter that way. Now I'm going to use a VT and this has to generally be done before you start the rappel, but not always. If you get down low enough and you start hurting and you need to stop, you can take and lock off your rappel device and then attach your VT to the rope then. So I'm going to take and attach. The VTs always go above your rappel device. And for me, you got to kind of practice and know what your weight is going to require. I usually do about four to five wraps. Okay. And once that's done, you're going to start wrapping your VT just as manufacturers recommend right around that rope and I'm going to take my quick link or quick draw excuse me attach it to my belay loop and then into the VT locking all my carabiners double checking everything and that's going to give me my rappel backup. Now, this is something you want to practice a ground level first and make sure the setup works for you and make sure everything is in the proper place. I've done this enough over the years that I know the quick draw attached to my belay loop is going to be the right length for me. You don't want this to be stretched out so far that you can't reach it. And remember, when you're hanging, your harness is stretching. That's going to stretch your belay loop out. It's going to get even higher above you. <clears throat> so you want to make sure that prior you understand what the distances are. So with that, all I'm going to have to do to do my rappel now is hold this barrel of that VT in my left hand as I rappel. And normally my left hand is holding the rope anyways, so this isn't really out of the ordinary for me but i'm going to repel just like that and if i have to let go i can let go and that vt is going to hold okay or if i happen to pass out or get hit by a rock or something you know those things then i can know that vt is going to hold me now the nice thing that i like about a vt over a auto block or any of those others is one it's above everything so it's out of my way i don't have to manage it down here i don't have to use an extension on my rappel device and i don't have to worry about that auto block or anything getting jammed into my rappel device as i'm going the other thing is that a vt is what's called a load releasing hitch so when it's under load i.e if i'm hanging and it's loaded up I can pop that VT loose by just pulling down on that knot on top. And you want to be very gentle to start with because it'll, it'll jolt you. But it's a low releasing hitch so I can pop that from up on top while I'm loaded. Sometimes those auto blocks, once they get loaded and are hanging below you, they're really hard to unload and unlock and you almost have to set up an ascender sometimes. Or I've seen people with prusiks for their backups. Search and Rescue is big on this, and I'm not a big fan of it. They'll put a prusik above their rappel device and use that as a backup. Once that prusik's loaded, you're done. You've got to pretty much put in an ascender and a ladder to unload that. So the VT is really nice. Pop that off, and you can move it while it's under load. So hope that helps. Hope that gives you some thoughts and ideas on how to use a VT as a backup for your rappel and
practice, practice, practice. So thanks for joining. Come back and check us out again. Hit that subscribe button and follow us on our adventures. Thanks, catch you later. Hey, Outdoor Junkies. Welcome back to my tree. <laughs> it's a great little rigging spot. Morning, Outdoor Junkies. Hope you're having an amazing, amazing day. Welcome back to my tree. Good morning, Outdoor Junkies. Welcome back to another rigging episode video where I pretend to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Good morning, Outdoor Junkies. Welcome back to another amazing tutorial by me, yours truly, Jared. Wow, that's a fan. <laughs>